Good morning, class. Welcome to EGM 212, Engineering Mathematics 2. And the topic this morning is linear differential equations. Linear differential equations. Linear differential equations are differential equations that take the form dy over dx plus py is equal to q where p and q are functions of x. The p and the q, the p here and the q are functions of x. Uh, sometimes they are written as p, p of x or q of x yeah just to emphasize that they are functions of x so dy over dx plus py is equal to q so p and q are functions of x sometimes they take the form dx over dy plus px is equal to q in this case P and Q become functions of Y. So P and Q become functions of Y. So instead of having uh, expressions like P of X, you're going to have P of Y. P of Y, the same applies to Q, you have Q of Y. So uh, P and Q for the first, for the equation on top, stand for functions of x, whereas p and q on the second equation are both uh, functions of y. So the general solution of a first order linear differential equation is given by y multiplied by if is equal to the integral of the product of q and if in brackets dx plus k. This k is the arbitrary constant. Uh, I think you, might, you, you should be able to remember in EGM 211 uh, the function that uh, k uh, plays here. So um, there is the if here, the if which somebody may be asking to say, what is that IF? The IF is what you call the integrating factor, the integrating factor. So the integrating factor is given by E raised to the power, the integral of P of X DX. That is the integrating power. The, sorry, the integrating factor, not power, the integrating factor. So the general solution then, this same expression, the expression on top here, after replacing the value of uh, if with the e raised to the power, the integral of p of x dx, it yields this general solution. This is a very, very important expression in this topic y multiplied by e raised to the power integral of p dx equal to the integral of the product of q and e raised to the power integral p dx with respect to x plus an arbitrary constant k. So uh, let's go straight away into uh, working out some, some problems. Solve the following linear differential equations. Solve the following linear differential equation. The first one is dy over dx plus 5y over x is equal to 2x to the power 3. So the first thing we need to do is uh, 
to get the values of P as well as Q after arranging it in the standard format. You remember we said linear differential equations uh, present themselves as dy over dx plus py is equal to q. So if we are to, uh, to compare the standard equation and this uh, problem that we, we've been given, you realize that the p will be 5 over x and the q will be 2x to the power 3. So in this case, the integrating factor then becomes e raised to the power, the integral of px dx, then equal to e raised to the power 5 lin x. I think this, this is not a problem because we know the value of p is 5 over x. So if we put 5 over x there and uh, carry out the uh, integration, it will give you e raised to the power 5 lin x. So that then yields to x to the power 5. So since the integrating factor if has given us uh, x raised to the power 5, then we can get to the general solution. The, the solution we just checked on the previous, previous slide. So the y e the integral p x dx is equal to the integral q x e then raised to the power uh, integral p dx with respect to x plus the constant. So after replacing in the values of e raised to the power the integral p dx, then here e raised to the power the integral of p dx after replacing these values with x raised to the power 5, we're going to get the expression as this one I'm, I've highlighted. The y, open bracket, x to the power 5, close the bracket, equals the integral 2x cubed, open the bracket, x to the power 5, close the bracket, dx plus k. I think proceeding from this stage is not an issue. Uh, I'm sure each one of us should be able to proceed from this stage. This is the very basic of uh, integration techniques. Okay, so we've seen. So we've stated there that uh, you need to complete the solution because this is a, a very, very simple expression. Okay, so this is how we work out linear differential equations. Yeah. The second example, we have half dy over dx plus xy is equal to 2x. Half dy over dx plus xy is equal to 2x. So here, First, we have to multiply each term. We multiply each of the three terms by two. We multiply each of the three terms by two to get rid of the fraction. So we want to get rid of the fraction one over two. So to get rid of one over two, we multiply each term by two. So now multiplying uh, each term by two, if you multiply each term by two, you realize that you're going to have dy dy over dx plus 2xy equals 4x. 
Yeah. So if we multiply throughout by, by 2, we'll get dy over dx plus 2xy is equal to 4x. So from here, it, it is very easy for us to get the values of p, q, as well as the integrating factor, the if. Yeah. So the p here, if we compare this equation to the standard format, you realize that 2x here will be p and 4x is going to be our q here. So to get the integrating factor, we say e raised to the power the integral p dx equal to, it gives us e raised to the power x squared. You need to confirm this. You work it out and ensure that it gives you e raised to the power x squared. So to get the general solution, we simply get to the formula that we, we showed on the second slide. Yeah, we slot in where there's if we put uh, e raised to the power x squared and it gives us this general solution. But then this general solution is not completed because the integral here is supposed to be carried out on the product of two different functions. There is 4x as well as e raised to the power x squared. These are two different functions that are multiplying. So for this case, you use a technique of integration known as integration by parts. So um, here we are saying complete the solution. You try to revise through the uh, uh, integration techniques, and I'm sure you'll find um, integration by parts. So you apply the principle to work out this part of the uh, general solution. Okay, so this is uh, how simple it is. Okay, let's look at the, the third example. The third example is dy over dx plus y cos x over sine x is equal to e raised to the power cos x. Luckily, the third example is also already arranged in the standard format. So we, by visual inspection, we can tell that indeed it is in the standard format. So let's move. So we are able to tell by visual inspection that p is cos x over sine x and q is e raised to the power cos x. So then the integrating factor would be the integral of cos x over sine x with respect to x um, being the power of e. So after executing the integral here, you realize that it is going to give you lean sine x. So if is equal to lean sine x can be further simplified to give only sine x. I think we do remember uh, logarithmic equations or natural logarithmic equations. If you revise through, I think you not have challenges uh, to understand as to why uh, the answer has given us sine x. So now to get the general solution, we simply plug in the values. We have the integrating factor. Yeah, we have the integrating factor and we have the Q. So you simply uh, multiply Y by the integrating factor, then equal to the integral of the product of uh, Q and the integrating factor, then with respect to X, okay? So after cutting out the, the integration here, and you've, you, 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 um, you'll be able to, to notice that uh, the integral comprises two different functions. There's e raised to the power cos x and sine x. So equally here, you use a technique known as integration by parts. Integration by parts. So this is what yielded the final answer. These are 
these equations are very, very important in engineering. And I think very soon we'll be able to meet most of these, uh, these equations being applied in other uh, engineering courses. Okay, so for today, we'll end here. Uh, if there are any questions, uh, you are free to, uh, to bring them forward. Okay, so uh, next week we'll look at, uh, uh, not next week, but uh, next lecture rather, we'll look at uh, an extension of uh, linear differential equations, which is the Bernoulli equation, which is a slight extension to what we've uh, done today. Okay, so all the best, enjoy the rest of the day, stay home, don't move around, and uh, keep your hands clean all the time, wash with soap all the time. Okay, good day.